I feel really nervous. <laughs> what do I combine with? Is yeast supposed to dissolve in water? It's so soft. Hey friend, welcome to another video. Today I'm starting a new series on here, testing TikTok recipes. As a food content creator, I spend most of my time creating my own recipes and every now and then I come across a recipe on TikTok and I'm like, I really want to make that. So I thought I would start a little series on here and we can make some TikTok recipes together, test them out and see how they turn out and just have some fun with it, I guess. <laughs> So for episode one, I'm making cottage cheese bread. You won't find this bread in any store. Just listen to this. <laughs> this recipe is by Carolina Gellin? Gielen? Gielen? I'm not quite sure how to say her name, so I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. When I saw this recipe, I was like... Immediately, yes. This is a bit of me. So... It says here it's a high protein alternative to your favorite sandwich bread. It looks absolutely incredible. It looks amazing and I can't wait to make it. It's a tender delicious sandwich bread with a little extra protein. Depending on the cottage cheese and bread you're using, each slice could com contain up to 15 grams of protein. That's pretty impressive. The process is just as simple and basic as making any homemade bread. The only difference is the wet ingredients will contain water, yeast, blended cottage cheese and egg whites. The bread ends up being super tender and moist, similar to a brioche or milk bread, but a little more firm and crusty. So this sounds phenomenal. Before I start making the recipe, I have to make a disclaimer and say that I have never successfully baked with yeast. I've tried it a few times and I think I'm just a little bit impatient but I'm gonna give it a go and I'm gonna try my best at this today. <laughs> anyway I'm gonna gather my ingredients and then we can get started. So these are the ingredients we're gonna need. It's only six ingredients which I love. So we've got dry yeast, lukewarm water, white bread flour, we've got cottage cheese of course, some salt and then eggs. The recipe calls for egg whites but I'm gonna just separate the yolks and the whites from these eggs. You know it's getting real when I put an apron on and tie my hair. So I've read through the recipe once. I think it's a great idea before you start making a recipe just read through it. Make sure you have all your ingredients and you kind of have an idea of what you're doing. I feel really nervous. <laughs> okay, step one is to combine the lukewarm water with the yeast. What I really love about this recipe is that Caroline has given me the grams and the cup measurements. I'm a gram gal. 75 grams of lukewarm water. I've mentioned it before, but using grams when baking is just so much better. So much more accurate and that's what I believe. I've just annihilated this box. Oh well. Okay, five grams of active dry yeast. Hmm. So each pack is six grams, but I only need five grams. I'm doing everything by the book. It needs to be perfect. Five grams. Five grams. Combine. What do I combine with? I need use a spoon. See, because I don't know what I'm doing with yeast, I don't know if the yeast is supposed to dissolve. Is yeast supposed to dissolve in the water? Let's ask Google. Is yeast supposed to dissolve in water? As the yeast sits in the water, it begins to dissolve and the yeast is activated. There you have it. The yeast will begin to dissolve as it activates. So this is just the lukewarm water and the yeast. It's brewing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so whilst the water and yeast is hydrating, in a blender combine the egg whites and cottage cheese. So I don't have egg whites, I'm gonna have to separate the eggs. So the recipe says one cup of egg whites or seven to eight egg whites, 250 grams. I don't know how to separate an egg. You crack it like that and you open it and you kind of let the egg whites run through whilst you hold the egg yolk in the shell and then you pass it through like this back and forth until as much of the egg white <gasps> me trying to teach you how to separate an egg and then I fail <laughs> that's okay, 
failure is acceptable. You just want to try not to get... <gasps> I was just going to say, you want to try not to get any egg yolks in your egg white. I'm going to use the shell. Success. And then I need to add the cottage cheese. Glossy. <laughs> get 255 grams of cottage cheese. And then we blend. Okay, so now I need to add the blended mixture to the yeast mixture and whisk to combine. I think that'll do. Next up, whisk the flour with a dry whisk in its container to remove any lumps and aerate the flour. So I'm guessing I just do this. I feel like this recipe is a lot more technical than my usual recipes and I'm enjoying it. It's like a challenge. Like a challenge. Add the flour and salt to the wet mixture. 582 grams of flour. This is bread flour by the way. and 10 grams of salt and then whisk using a dutch whisk or fork you will be left with a shaggy sticky dough so now we're gonna do the kneading of the dough dust a flat surface with some flour i'm using a chopping board to do this because i don't really want to do it on the table and then dump the dough on it okay knead the dough for five to six minutes now to be honest i don't know if i'm doing this right i feel like a professional now i'll give you a close-up i'll give you a close-up <laughs> okay so the recipe says to knead the dough for five to six minutes or until it starts looking smooth you can also use a stand mixer use a bench scraper to help lift the sticky dough from the work surface shape the dough into a ball and then place it back in the mixing bowl and then the next step is to cover and leave in a warm spot to proof for an hour. That might be a little bit of a challenge because it is pretty cold right now. So I'm going to go on a hunt for a warm spot and then I will be back in an hour. Or for you, it'll just be a couple of seconds, but see ya. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit dubious about the situation. Um, it's been three hours now and I put my dough in the warmest possible place I could find. And I'm not sure if it's doing its thing it's not doubled in size it has maybe puffed up a bit but it's definitely not doubled and it's not as puffy as i think it should be i'm just going to go with it because i followed the recipe to a t that's the best i can do right okay so after an hour of proofing punch down the dough to deflate not going to deflate much because it hasn't puffed up much but i'm going to go with it get my anger out on the dough. I think that's enough. Sorry. Roll it into a log, stitch the ends by pinching them together. So I've floured my surface and I've got some oil on my hands. And I'm just gonna stretch this out a bit like this. Fold that side in. Like that. And then roll it tightly. into a log and pinch in the sides like this I just need to leave this to proof for 20 to 25 minutes until visibly risen and puffed up so let's see 20 minutes later guess what it's puffing up after proofing the dough, make a slit in the middle using a sharp knife or razor blade. Are you ready for the grand reveal? I baked this for 40 minutes, but after 20 minutes, I covered it with some foil because I saw it was going a bit dark. So I put some foil over the top for the second 20 minutes. And now, she is a bit wonky. 
but I'm putting that down to the fact that my loaf tint was not the right size. But that's not bad. I'm happy. I'm gonna slice her open and see what she's like. I'm so impressed with it. I legit thought it was gonna fail. But look at this. It's so soft and like, it's chewy. It's everything bread is supposed to be. So if you were to ask me, do I recommend cottage cheese bread? The answer is most definitely. <laughs> Highly recommend it. I will definitely be making it again. I will rate this bread an eight and a half out of 10 because it's my own fault. I didn't have the right size loaf. So it came out a bit wonky. Actually, no, she's perfect. I give her a 10. She's gorgeous. Anyway, I really highly recommend you try this recipe. It was so easy. I mean, I did, there were a few moments where I thought I was doing the wrong thing, but it still worked, like it worked really well. I did have to leave it to proof for three hours instead of one, like the recipe said, but that could be just because it's colder here. But yeah, just with a little bit of patience, the results were fantastic. And like I said earlier in the video, I've never successfully baked with yeast. So if you are the same, if you've never baked with yeast or you've never successfully baked with yeast, give this a go. I think you might be surprised. Mm. Oh, and I think I should mention that this does not taste like cottage cheese or eggs. It tastes like bread and it's bloody delightful. I need to wrap up here, but I don't keep eating the bread. So anyway, I'm gonna end the video here and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try this recipe, please do. And if you have any TikTok recipes or Instagram recipes, if you have any recipes that you want me to test, just send them to me on Instagram. My handle is at nourishingnikki. Send them to me and tell me you want me to make them for testing TikTok recipes so you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and if you want, you can leave a little comment and tell me you enjoyed it or tell me that you made it or tell me that you're gonna make it and tell me what other recipes I need to make. Okay, that's it. Bye!